Hi folks, it's Andy and welcome to The Kendo Show. Today we're going to be talking about how to improve your door strikes, your door waza. Before we jump into the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, support the channel by shopping at kendostar.com. It's a fantastic, wonderful kendo equipment website owned by myself, of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, but if you don't believe me how great it is, go and check out how high rated we are with the highest rated uh, shop online. It's fantastic, brilliant equipment. I'm sure there's people in your dojo already using our gear, so shop at kendostar.com. So don't forget, these videos are just my interpretation, of course, based on uh, my own understanding um, of Kendo at present, uh, based on what I've been taught over the years. Uh, if your teacher uh, or your sensei says something different, then obviously I would always say, follow them, don't go to them and tell them that they're wrong because Andy Fisher on YouTube said this or that. Um, follow what your sensei says, okay? You don't have to do it the way I'm saying, um, this is just my interpretation. So with that said, let's get into the video. So now we're going to look at some ways to improve your door uchi, okay, your door strikes. I'm here with my wife Miyuki, who's going to help us out uh, demonstrate some of these tips for improving your door strikes. So there are lots of different situations where we might strike the door. And obviously we can strike both this side and we can strike this side, okay? We'll talk about both of those uh, in a moment, but this kind of uh, tobikomi door or a kind of shikake door, where I would start from here, yeah, get to a distance, and then from my own sort of initiative attack, it's quite rare, it doesn't come up so much. But still, um, it's good to practice. Maybe if the opponent is uh, often leaving their feet planted in the ground and lifting their arms to defend against my semi, yeah, then maybe I've got the chance to make the door strike. Okay, it's, it's, it's quite rare. <laughs> okay, this sort, of, this sort of player, they rarely stay still and do this. <laughs> okay, the more likely, as I put the pressure on, the more likely to either move backwards as they do it and raise their arms and block. Okay, so even if they're exposing the door, even if they're exposing the door, yeah, I'm still going to struggle to reach it. Or they might do the opposite and as they block, they, they move forward, move forward. Yeah, and, and, and uh, close the distance, okay? So it's very difficult to actually find the situation where this tobikomi door works. But what we're gonna be talking about really applies to tobikomi door this way. It applies to nuki door where they attack my men and I hit. It also applies to men kaishi door where again they attack my men and I block and strike. Okay? And to some extent, it even applies to hikido, where from a tsubazari eye position or after tayatari, I would make a door strike. To some extent, okay? it's a little bit different. But um, <clears throat> the first thing, when striking migido, again, you have to keep your elbows tucked in. The thing that a lot of people try to do is they'll try to use their elbows to swing the shinai, and the shinai sort of goes around in this direction. It wants to go this way, do, do, not this way, okay? Lots of people will try to, yeah, and then like this, okay? It's not correct, you can't strike properly. In theory, we want to try to cut about 45 degrees, but in practice, that's flexible, okay? There's no hard and fast rule saying it has to be 45 degrees, that's just the image that we have. It depends on your opponent, it depends on the situation, okay? But we wanna use our wrists to maneuver the shinai to strike accurately. I'm striking accurately rather than using power, okay? I'm not using my strength to bash the dough this way, <coughs> this way, as just gonna bust up my shinai, okay? I don't need to hit it hard, I just need to hit it accurately, 
All right? If I hit the right part of the door with the right part of the shinai, I'll get the good impact. Okay? I want to use my hips as I make my strike. Whether it's tobikomi do, or whether it's men kaishi do, or nuki do, I twist my hips slightly as I strike. Okay? If I just bring you around here, stay there, stay there, that's it. Okay? Raise here. I think you can see. I don't keep my hips straight this way. As I make slight impact, I twist my hips this way slightly. Okay? From here, I don't strike straight in front. I know you can't see me, okay? But this way, okay? As you can see. I don't want to go too far. I'm not over here, okay? So I'd be shoulder to shoulder after we strike. But my strike, I turn my hips slightly this way, okay? Same for the other side if I was doing gyakudo, okay? Lots of people try to do gyakudo just with their hands. Okay, we'll just move you this way a little bit so they can see. That's it. Lots of people try to do the gyakudo just with their hands this way. Like this. Okay? Incorrect. You have to turn your hips slightly. Okay? So if we do the gyakudo where I strike and then retreat, I turn my hips as I strike. See that? Same if we hit the opposite way. This way. Gyakudo. This way. This way. Okay? This way for this one. This way for this one. Okay? So I have to consider how we move our hips. Finally, the main thing about Do, it's all about the opportunity. Okay? She stands in Kamae, and even if I can sort of get past the Kamae, I can technically reach her door without really hitting her elbows, but it won't count as the strike. Okay, because I haven't created the correct opportunity. Often you see hikido done like this, where they don't raise their arms, but I just slide it under the elbows, sorry, and manage to hit the door without creating a proper opportunity. This will never be considered valid. Okay? So as I said, if we're doing the forward, uh, forward motion door, we either have to get them to stay still <laughs> and raise their arms to block. Very difficult, but let's say we manage to so that we can do the tobikomi uh, door. Or we might have to get them to uh, strike us so that we can do either nuki door or kaishi door. Okay? But in either case, either case, I'm considering my hips, okay? Using my hips. I'm not moving too far out of her body line as I strike, okay? I'm not, moving, I'm not moving all the way over here. I'm looking to strike and pretty much pass shoulder to shoulder, okay? They're the things you need to consider when making your door strikes. So that was all about how to improve your door strikes. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, shop at Kendo Star, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.